Hi, welcome back to another vlog. So I have a bunch of clothes right here. I decided I wanted to do a haul at the very beginning of my vlog because I feel like I typically do my hauls at like towards the end of my videos. And so I want to switch things up. I'm gonna move it at the beginning. I actually have already started vlogging today. So this is like the afternoon right now, but I'm gonna film this, put this at the beginning of the video, and then we can get on with the rest of the vlog as well. So I picked up some things from Pangaea. I've been eyeing them for so long on Instagram. Yeah, Instagram convince me they look so comfy and so perfect so what Pangaea is it's just like full of so many sweatsuits and sweatpants and sweatshirts and hoodies and like all these comfy clothes that you guys know that I love to wear so much and what kind of like put me off at the beginning is the fact that these are so dang expensive it's no secret at all that these clothes are very expensive and that is because they are sustainably made so i feel like this is like the first like sustainable company that i've really checked out they're super environmentally friendly pretty much everything that they make is made of like organic cotton environmentally friendly dyes and like recycled materials too and i love that every single item that you purchase you are either like saving restoring or like planting a tree so that's like it's so cool i love it so anyways i definitely wanted to check out this brand i wanted to see if they're worth the hype and i was hoping that i could help you guys as well if this is a brand that you were interested in help shed some light on sizing too especially if you're like a similar size to me that was also another thing that i was very put off is i just didn't want to spend all of that money not to have these things fit because i am so petite and have to like ship everything back one of the only reasons why i ended up finally pulling the trigger and purchasing it is that they do offer free returns as well so it's really cool so if there's anything that doesn't fit you can always just ship it back and get your money back for free so that's good. I hate paying return shipping. There's like nothing worse, you know? So let's go ahead and start with, let's just start with what's on top. So I got these sweat shorts. I am so in love with this. I don't remember the names of everything. So let me go ahead and pull up my Pangaea order so I can refer to the exact product names of everything. So these are the heavyweight recycled cotton shorts. I got it in the color stone. Stone is such a pretty color. I was so torn between the color stone and gray. And I'm actually really happy that I did go with stone. It's such like a light gray, but it's not like, um, like this color gray that I'm wearing right now. This is like more taupey of a gray. You know what I mean? So it's just a color that I definitely don't have in my collection now that I definitely wanted. I got them in a size extra extra small. And so for sizing reference, I'll put my measurements and stuff down in the description for you guys. But I am 5'1". I'm super small and super petite. And so before when I was looking at their website, they didn't even offer extra extra small. It's the smallest size that they went as an extra small. And a lot of it was unisex the last time I looked and it was a while ago. And so I'm really glad that they do have like a women's collection and that they now have an extra extra small available as well and so these actually fit really nice they are still pretty loose at the top and i have to pull in the jawstring i feel like they are good like oversized boyfriend look of sweatpants the length of these are actually really good too this one is offered in lightweight and heavyweight so again these are the heavyweight ones and so they are like really thick too which i like they have really good weight to them i didn't want like lightweight because i think that the lightweight came with like a different interior and this is like very fleecy and super freaking soft so that's definitely why i wanted to get the heavyweight ones more pretty cool shorts love these bad boys so the next thing that i got were the track pants so the track pants come in so many different variations and i was kind of like thrown off by which one i wanted to get but again i wanted to stick with like the heavyweight fabrics because they show you pictures of the inside and i just really wanted like that fleecy interior especially for the winter time i just wanted it to be like super warm this is definitely heavyweight it feels good but with it being heavyweight, it's still like super light, which I like because if you guys have ever tried talentless, like those are like heavyweight sweatpants, but they're really heavy too. And that's something that I don't necessarily like about them. So these, yes, they are a heavyweight and you can tell that they have some thickness to it, but they're not heavy at all which is good so i guess the official name of these is the heavyweight recycled cotton track pants everything is exactly the same as the shorts like i got these in a size extra extra small organic cotton recycled cotton environmentally friendly dyes like all that good stuff i got these in the color off-white you can see when i try them on that they are definitely like a boyfriend sweatpant at least on me and again this is the smallest size so i kind of wish that they had like a triple extra small so that they can fit like a little bit more snug but honestly if you're looking for like a boyfriend 
boyfriend sweatpants. This is obviously a really good option. Or if you're able to and you didn't want such like an oversized sweatpant, I would definitely like recommend sizing down a size or two in these. But overall, I really do like like the waistband on these. I love that the drawstring is in the inside and you can cinch them as much as you can and kind of just like have them flow on the outside. The pockets on these are really good and the shorts did have pockets on them as well, which I loved. The length of these are good. They're a little bit baggy on me being 5'1", so just a heads up. But I like that the band at the bottom is not super restricting and it has like a text right here and then on the back it has the Pangaea name logo right there under like the butt, if you will. So this text actually reads, these track pants are made from a recycled and organic cotton mix. So I think that whatever item you get, whatever it's made of, it kind of just like puts it on the label on the front, which I actually kind of like. So the next thing I picked up is the organic cotton crop sweatshirt. So if you can see it in the name, it's not lightweight and it doesn't say heavyweight in the title either. It's just like organic cotton. However, this is like a light, weight sweatshirt so this is in the color stone and it is in a size extra small this they do not offer in a size extra small so this is the smallest size that they got i wanted to try this out because it wasn't the heavyweight and i wanted to see what the inside felt like so this is very comparable to like a french terry material in the inside it's still like really soft and no hate against lululemon but like whenever they have like french terry in their things like the perfectly oversized sweatshirt like i don't find the inside of that to be that soft so if I'm comparing it to that, like this is much, much softer. The sleeves aren't too long. The crop is like a really perfect length too. This is not recycled cotton, but it is organic cotton and it is like environmentally friendly dyes again. This does have like a raw cut hem on it. It does show Pangaea in the back of the sweatshirt. So yeah, kind of a nice little sweatshirt here. So the last thing that I got is one of their hoodies. So this is the heavyweight recycled cotton hoodie. I think that sounds right. I got it in the color stone again, and this is in a size extra extra small so i love this sweatshirt i've been wearing it non-stop and i can't take it off like it's so comfortable to wear i actually really like the size of the hood too it's not like super oversized so i don't feel like it weighs me down and i don't feel like i have to pull a ton at the collar do you guys know that feeling when your hood is like really heavy and you have to like pull at this to like keep it from choking you i guess <laughs> so i don't get that feeling in this hoodie which is obviously really good the pockets of these are cool because the pockets are more like on on the side so it's not like a typical hoodie with a kangaroo pocket these pockets on the sides actually don't touch if you put your hands into both of them and then can we talk about the bottom bands i am obsessed with because i feel like it's really hard to find like an oversized hoodie where this elastic band isn't like super tight that's why i love the ritzia boyfriend hoodie so much is because that this elastic band is like more loose so in comparison i would say that this is like a tighter elastic band than the ritzia boyfriend hoodie but it's still like loose enough where it's not hugging against your body and it kind of just like sits there or you can even tuck this under i just feel like it really gives like an effortless look it's also not as long as the aritzia boyfriend sweatshirts as well which i like because i feel like i can pair this better with like sweatpants and other things um too so anyways that's kind of like the overview <sighs> of all the different things that I got from Pangaea. I'm really excited that I tried them out. I am kind of on the lookout for the stone sweatpants in my size. No hate against the off-white, but I feel like I'm gonna drop all my food on it and they're gonna get like super dirty <laughs> really fast. Anyways, that's it for the haul. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. So let's go ahead and insert the vlog footage that I've already filmed earlier this day starting now and we'll be caught up to where I'm at about this point pretty soon. <laughs> I swear the last time I had a Coke was the last time I recorded it. <laughs> <laughs> it's a warm video. I know. Lunch today is some good old Mexican. It looks so delicious. So we got some nachos just like fully filled with so many goodness i don't know what i'm saying and then we also got a burrito just one burrito can you guys believe like how big this is we got one and split it in half but it is a wagyu beef burrito what does it have in it babe it has obviously the beef it has french fries 
Looks like it has guacamole, maybe some pico de gallo in there and some other stuff, but oh my god, you guys, this is cheese. This is like the best burrito ever. And then the Seahawks game should be coming on here shortly, so we're gonna watch the Seahawks game and chat out on some lunch. Put it. Yay, my chair was delivered way earlier than my delivery window, but this is so exciting. So I got a new like lounge chair for, I guess my filming room, I don't know what to really call it, but got it from Article. So I'm really excited to unbox it and see what it looks like. Fun. It's a bit later in the day. I am wearing all the Pangaea clothes. I was just trying them all on so I can insert clips of them at the beginning of this video. So you guys obviously would have seen the Pangaea haul by now because I did a little switcheroo. I recorded it later, but I put it first in the video. So hopefully that doesn't throw you guys off that much. But yeah, I'm just sitting in the new article chair. It came in and I'm so excited. It's Perfect. I'm already envisioning so many like photo shoots, <laughs> that sounds so weird, that I could um, do while sitting in this chair. And it's just like really comfortable. I've actually just been sitting here for like the last 30 minutes and I love it. I'm so happy that this room is like slowly coming together. There's so many things I want to do to it. Anyways, this chair, I figured I would talk about it really fast because I didn't really even talk about it. I've been eyeing chairs that look like this. You guys know. What's this fabric called? From like CB2, from Crate and Barrel, everything. But you guys, they're like a thousand dollars. And I was like, for like a little side chair for a room, especially one that's not even like in my house. I was like, I don't know if I really want to spend that. And I came across article and they have two chairs. There's this one. I feel like this is called like the Gabriella or something, you guys. Sorry, like I should know what this chair is called, but of course I'll link it down below. But there's one that they also have that like swivels that doesn't have legs on it. But that one was back ordered till like March or April. And I just did not want to wait that long for a chair. And I actually really like this one too, but I preferred the other one. So I took a chance and I ordered it anyways because you guys know I always check out the return policies on everything before I even buy it. And it, it didn't have like that bad of like a return policy. 
and like the process for returning so it's like okay I'll, I'll i'll get it and we'll see and you guys i'm actually like so in love with it i think it's so perfect i think it's slightly bigger and the price gosh how can i forget that the price the main thing is like a fraction of the price i think that this was around 400 and 29 dollars which is so good the other one that is just like this from articles i think 4.99 but still under 500 dollars. this one under 450 for a nice chair i cannot believe it so actually let me show you a close-up of it because i don't think i did that either so you guys can see like the quality of it and everything like that but it's actually really comfortable to sit in now that i have this sweatshirt on you guys there's no taking it off it's now a part of me I'm one with the sweatshirt. <laughs> okay. And yes, I put like little lights on because you guys, this room is so dark. This is like the only light in this entire room and it's yellow, mind you. And the ceilings are like 20 feet tall. Like I don't even know. So I can't even like reach that. So we're going to have to figure something out. But for now, I put these lights on so I could chat with you guys. So, okay. So this is the chair. It has these legs on it, which the other ones didn't have any legs. Again, it's, it swivels, but I actually don't mind like the color of these and they seem kind of finished, like they're smooth and it seems like they have some sort of gloss on them or something, but they're not shiny. So these are really nice. And then, yeah, this is the chair up close. Here's the material, the cushion. Looks like it has Velcro on it but yeah super cushiony but anyways i think that this is a really nice addition for the space ah <sighs> what time is it 5 30 5 30 on a sunday you guys i am terrified my vacation is coming to an end and i have to go to work tomorrow well you know do work and i haven't even logged on not even once not even once i was supposed to but then i got sick and then I just haven't since and I'm terrified because I think I have like thousands of unread emails and it's just <laughs> it's gonna be such a busy day and I'm just like terrified of it mm. vacation was obviously very good and it was nice to like chill out oh and by the way yeah I'm feeling a hundred percent better I feel so good and it's just funny because like those few days I obviously just wasn't really doing anything and that was like the first time in my vacation that like I dedicated days to doing absolutely nothing and it actually felt really good. So, you know, kind of glad maybe that I got sick because it forced me to seriously do nothing and just literally lay in bed. Not too bad. But yeah, let's go make some tea or something and let's see what Juan's up to downstairs since I've been up here for a while. Chatting your ear off. What's new? <laughs> My babe. Did you take a nap? Aww. Oh. Hi, babe. How's your nap? It was great. Do you like having a camera in your face right when you wake up from a nap? No. <laughs> Are you gonna deal with it? No. <laughs> oh, my babe. I brought over my favorite, oh, focus. My favorite honey that you guys know all about. My honey lemon tea. I just can't quit it. Ooh, babe, can I use your new kettle? Huh? Can I use your new kettle? I want to be Why? I don't like it. Why? What about it? I don't like it. What about it? <laughs> really? Yeah. I think I can have one that... I mean, I can pay a little bit more and have one that you can specify the temperature and stuff like that. Oh, this one you can't specify? Oh. Juan got a bunch of like new stuff around Christmas. It was like on sale or whatever. What brand is this? Storyville. Storyville. Is it local? Yeah. I see. But this was a new cuddle, but apparently he doesn't like it and he's going to return it because I guess you can't specify what temperature. So I guess that makes sense. And then he got, oh babe, I don't even drink coffee. What is this stuff called? Is this a grinder? Coffee grinder. Coffee grinder. And then what's this? A French press. A French press. Okay. And then you got some French roasted coffee, it looks like. Do you like this coffee? Yeah. Nice. But I like this, like the look of these. These are nice. Do you like these? Yes. Okay. And I buy their pods. Oh, their pods as well. Ooh. I'm gonna use this one. Starbucks milk? Starbucks we serve. Yeah, it's good. I mean, if these from a Starbucks we serve. I don't really remember how I got it. Ah. Oh, 
Oh, are we making a little bit of a coffee? Mm -hmm. mm. And that's how Juan makes his coffee. <laughs> if only I was into coffee. It tastes too much like coffee. Like it's... Try it in so front of your subscribe. <laughs> We are back home. Welcome back to my messy abode. <laughs> Whew, I'm biting the bullet. I'm logging on to work to see how many emails I have. I have about 60 uh, reminders. <laughs> All right, let's see how many emails. I'm scared. I've decided to bite the bullet and log on because I remembered, well, I knew in the back of my mind, but I have a release to go out tomorrow to customers and if I'm spending the whole day like looking at emails and trying to catch up, like it's gonna be bad news for me, you know? So I figured it might make sense to just to see what's going on. Oh, hi, Oliver. You wanna say hi to everyone? Oh, say hi. He never looks so happy when I do this. <laughs> He's purring, he's happy. I have 2100 and it's still sinking. Okay, so I've decided that I am thinking, <laughs> I've decided that I'm thinking that I'm going to paint all the walls. Obviously I'm still undecided, but I was thinking like once like the floors go in and I have new baseboards and everything that maybe I want the walls to be white instead of like this like gray, <sighs> excuse you Oliver. Maybe it'll help to tie things in a little bit more. I obviously have to see what like the floors look like with these gray walls and stuff, but I truly think that it might help it look like more modern um, if I paint the walls white. So anyways, I got like tons and tons of samples. I already have some on the wall that I've had from when I got samples for the kitchen before I painted it white. And I'm not sure if I'm a big fan of the white that I have in the kitchen. It's like too stark white and I think I want like a little bit of a creamier white. So I have tons and tons of samples. I have things from Benjamin Moore and then when I went to Home Depot earlier, I bought way more tile for the backsplash than I actually needed. So luckily Home Depot has returned. So I returned a bunch of tile. But while I was there, I got like more samples from Home Depot as well. So I think I'm gonna put these on the wall. I'll show you what I have. You know, whites look so different in store or in other people's homes than it does look in your home, you know? And especially like whites look different in the sample than it does in real life too. Like I got Whisper White for the kitchen and I don't think it really looks like this swatch. So anyways, after I like narrow it down from all of this, I'm gonna buy like little samples and then paint like right next to where this fireplace is because this is actually this. This is ultra pure white, like the whitest white from Bear. And I don't want it to like clash or look weird. Do you know what I mean? So yeah. So I'm gonna hang these up, at least the colors that I liked, and see what they all look like, and I think go from there. It's 
da here's my collection of whites <laughs> So yeah, I'm gonna have to start like narrowing it down a bit. So for reference, this one is like the purest of whites. And then this one right here is the famous Simply White from Benjamin Moore. So we have options. I think for sure, like super yellow ones like this and then kind of pinky ones like that, they gotta go. But anyway, I'm gonna stare at this for a while, see if there's any that stand out to me, but yeah, just an update that I'm thinking about painting my whole house. My computer looks like it was due for an update, so it's restarting now. But I think it's capped at 2,600 emails. So I have a fun night and day ahead of me to get through some of like those emails. That's what happens when you take time off of work, but hey, it's kind of needed, you know? You kind of need to take that time off. I'm also hoping that construction picks back up this next week too. So we'll see, I have to text the contractor and see what his plan is, like when he plans on coming back out. I think the third pantry is gonna be delivered this next week. I'm just waiting on a confirmation of the date and time. So let's cross our fingers that this is the last time. <laughs> you know what I mean? I can't believe it. Oh, I posted this on my stories, but I haven't mentioned it here yet in a vlog. I watch Bridgerton. You guys trust me I'm not gonna spoil anything I hate when people do spoiler alerts so I'm not gonna spoil anything I'm like so obsessed with the show I started it one night and then I ended up finishing it the next morning like I forced myself to go to sleep at like 2 a.m. Um, and like stop watching it you need to go to sleep and then I just picked it up like the next day and only had two more episodes left like the next day to watch I am so obsessed with it. I've already watched it through a whole second time. So if you haven't checked it out yet, definitely go check it out. Oh, I cannot wait for season two. And also at the end of like any series that I'm obsessed with, I of course like Google it to see like if they're already in production on season two, like what the potential release date is and all like that sort of stuff. Like I am extreme. <laughs> And within Googling, I discovered that it's actually a book series. It has like seven, eight, nine books or something like that. So I'm kind of thinking about maybe reading the books like in the meantime. But I also don't want it to like ruin the show for me, if that makes sense. Because you know, no book is exactly like any TV show or movie. Sometimes the show or the movie like deviates and all that sort of stuff. And like the image that I have of this TV show right now is just so perfect and I don't want I don't want things to get twisted you know what I mean so that's why I'm kind of like hesitant to read the books because I just I like the image that I have in my head right now of the show and I don't want to ruin it okay you guys so time flew by <laughs> time got away from me it's almost 10 30 right now guys I accidentally spent the last few hours working <laughs> why i think i was starting to stress out about tomorrow and like having to release something but also catch up on emails and then i didn't want to be like delayed because of me you know what i mean so i was getting all up in my head about it that i decided to not only go through all 2700 emails but to see where we're at the status of our release for tomorrow and like put a bunch of comments in so that the engineers can comment on it in the like the morning or as soon as like they see it they can respond you know so why 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 do i do this you know couldn't even enjoy my last night no i'm just kidding so um i have no idea what i want to have for dinner so i am going to eat a little bit of chocolate chip banana bread because that sounds normal right for dinner so cutting myself a nice big slice. We'll see if I come back for more. I won't put this away just yet. Hi, Oliver. Let's see if this is still good though. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, she's still good. I might have more. So anyways, 
But yeah, I think I'm gonna end off today's vlog. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Just a nice good day in my life. I love these types of vlogs. Hopefully you guys do too. But yeah, I think I'm just gonna eat some late dinner. Probably put on another episode of Bridgerton because why not? I need to wash off my makeup. Get ready for bed. I like that I still haven't taken off this hoodie. It's so comfortable, you guys. And I guess get up and start working. So I'll just see you guys in a couple of days in my next video. Bye. Love you.